the airport in Missouri. I came here for a wedding and I thrifted some purses and jewelry. So I'm going to do about a 10 minute reveal of what I did buy. So I'm just going to show you the items. We're not going to go over um, any measurements or anything like that. Uh, but we're going to go over that because I'm waiting on my plane. I think it's about 30 minutes before I board. So I'm going to make this super quick. And hopefully it's not pixelated. We do have Wi-Fi here, so I'm hoping it is not pixelated. So I have lots of jewelry. Lots of beautiful jewelry that I picked out, or pecked up, as CC would say. Pecked up, not picked out. And then we I had to buy this bag here. This is a DSW bag. So I bought this bag here to carry my purses in. So of course I had to buy that. I'll donate it back to the thrift store when I get home. But I do have some jewelry here that I'm gonna show you first. Hey Vanessa, I have some jewelry I'm gonna show you first. So we're only gonna do a quick about 10 minutes. We're gonna do about 10 minutes because I bored in about 30. So I don't wanna spend the entire time doing that. I could have waited till I got home to show you these things, but decided to do it here. So guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that thumbs up button for this video as you come in. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you know when I post new live buy it nows of auctions and jewelry, uh, auctions for jewelry and purses. You don't want to miss out on that because um, we have a lot of fun and a good group of people. And we do those sales. So I'm going to show you some things here. So these earrings right here are pierced earrings. These are crystal. I don't know if this is the actual card that came, you know, that they came from. That they've been on i have no idea the genuine austrian crystal so i did buy quite a bit of jewelry in missouri i hit three thrift stores two of them were goodwills one was salvation army so we really killed it pretty well in missouri so i'm going to show you the things i got so this right here is not cloisonne this might this is some kind of a, maybe a blown glass bead i'm not sure but it has um you know it's not cloisonne for sure but I don't know if it's Italian glass beads or what either. Um, that's something that I have not researched yet. But again, I wanted to show you guys what I did pack up in Missouri. And I do like Southwest Airlines. That's what I always fly. I love Southwest. St. Louis. So this right here is jade, guys. So you have this heart or this rose brooch, and then you have that jade right there. Let's see if that'll zoom in a little bit. It does not zoom in very well, and that's okay. Let me get this back out. So we have this jade brooch here. No designer mark on it. Not sure if it's vintage or not. Beth Johnson heart earrings. So I did get to hit three thrift stores yesterday before the wedding. So I was able to run pretty quick and find quite a bit of stuff. I only found probably about six purses. This right here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell this or use it at home. So this is about the size of your hand and it's a plaque, but look at what it says. I'll give you time to read that just a second and this video should upload after I'm off of here if it's marked private that's usually what happens it'll be marked private until it's uploaded when it's uploaded from my phone it's a little bit slower but I really like that piece there so I'll probably just keep that for my own home so this right here is not designer marked but look at this guys I'll just lay it down here on this bag so you can see it So those are agates of different shapes and sizes. But yeah, I couldn't wait till I got home to show you guys. Plus, I'm going to be traveling to Texas starting Monday from Florida. So we're going to do a little bit of thrifting, obviously. You know, I'm not going to drive down the road and pass a thrift store, right? Or an antique store. So we'll probably hit at least one in each state that I go through, if not two be a quick two-day trip so this right here guys look at that that is a looks like a vintage kind of mid mod um, gold leaf 
necklace. I did Google Lens this while ago, and it's Carol, and the last name is spelled D-U-P-L-A-I-S-E. Not sure the pronunciation of that, so I'm not even going to attempt that. But I wanted to show you guys that, so I did look that necklace up. And then look at this one. So a herringbone top chain. This is gold tone. So there's not any designer mark on this one either. The gold tone is in great condition. No fading whatsoever. And that's a beautiful piece. Untangling this stuff is the is the most fun. Matter of fact, it's an absolute blast untangling it, especially trying not to put down the phone to do that. So this is a coral brooch right here. There's one missing piece right here on the end, and I've had one of these before. It's a shield. It's marked coro. I've had one before. The one I had before was not broken. This was still pr too pretty to pass up, so I did, I did pack it up for sure. As CC would say, the costume chicken. Then you have this brooch here, that is not an acrylic. You know, it looks like a, it's a faux ruby, but looks vintage. Glass, no designer mark on it, but still a beautiful piece. So I did pack that one up. And then we have J Crew necklace. And I do like getting J. Crew necklaces. I have had this one before. It sold quickly. I think I remember who bought it too. I think Basketball Mom might have bought this. I think she did. So I found another one of these. So this is J. Crew. And I'll show you up close. That's a really pretty gold tone with glass stones. How appropriate is this, guys? Look at this. So the costume jeweler, look at this brooch. I'll probably sell this one. I always joke around and say I'm going to keep these brooches right like this because I do think they're costume jeweler style brooches. It would be, it's definitely something I pecked up, but it might be something that I put on a Halloween hat in October also. This is not designer marked that I can tell, but it's a nice piece. So I pecked that one up. And if you guys are new, Cece and I pack things up. We don't pick things up. I don't know, guys. I'm going to have to test these when I get home. I don't know if these might be gold vermeil or if they might be real gold or what or real stones. And I haven't, I don't have my loop, so I haven't been able to test the diamonds to see if they're real. A couple of these are raveled up a little bit. They're not raveled, but I'm going to show you. Like 34, 61, this now so right here, Kendra Scott tassel necklace. So a beautiful Kendra Scott tassel necklace with gunmetal gray. With a gunmetal gray um, chain there. Got two of those. Pecked up two, and they're tangled, but that's okay. There's the other one. I'm not going to untangle that because I want to show you the purses. So then you have this brass colored feather pendant necklace and look at all these stones. So these are, looks like agates, different colors, not acrylic. So a beautiful piece and this is one of the most amazing pieces I've seen. Hopefully it is not tangled up in this stuff. In this stuff, oh, I think it might be, it's okay. I haven't had time to untangle it. So this is sterling silver, guys. There's the chain, but look at this pendant. So you have four separate of these. Hey, Lady J. So I'm doing a little show and tell in the airport. My plane boards at 140. So I'm doing a quick one. So these are all sterling. The chain is sterling. Then you have these four uh, pieces here that are separate hanging on this chain. Each of these are marked 925 on the back, so that will be up for sale pretty pretty soon. So you have those different colors there. You have a ruby color, amethyst color, citrine, and then this uh, aqua, aquamarine color. But yeah, you can see here a little bit without it tangling. Look at this, if I can keep it up here. So they're all kind of 
wadded up, tangled up just a little bit, but not hurt. They are not hurt. No jewelry was hurt in the filming of this video. No jewelry was hurt in the filming of this video at all. But it's wanting to slip slide around. Uh, maybe. It's a different style of mother's necklace for sure. I like the creativity in it. So guys, this is a Ken Steiff brooch. So it looks like a floral brooch. This is not sterling. It's pewter. But it's marked, marked Kirk Steiff. S-T-I-E-F-F -F on the back. I did have not this same. I had a bracelet. It was a pewter bracelet by the same designer uh, just a few weeks ago on a sale. The last piece of jewelry I got this is this right here. So it looks like an individual. Very beautiful piece, not designer marked. Or it is right up there. It sure is designer marked. And I don't know what that says yet. I do have my reading glasses on. I don't have my loop. So I'm not sure what that says right there. And I'm looking at it. But I can't tell. It's not Fratelli. But I'll look with my loop, you know, before it's on any sale, because I don't know what it is. And I'll also Google Lens. So we'll, we will see what we've got there, what we pecked up that we don't know yet. So that's awesome. I think one of my favorite pieces, though, is this right here, this jade. And that's probably a red coral rose brooch. Vintage. And then I'm going to show you the purses, and then we'll close this out. So Goodwill here sells bags for a dollar, which is awesome because then you don't have to waste the bags. So this here is a Liz Claiborne. I picked, I picked this up because I thought it was leather. It turns out to be faux leather, but I love the tooled work on it. Um, but it's a Liz Claiborne. I've never bought Liz Claiborne before, but it's a Liz Claiborne. It looked kind of tooled, so I like that. This right here, guys, I'm not sure if this is snakeskin or if it's a, it's not crock print. It, to me, it, it'd be more rigid if it's crock print, but I think it's probably snake skin. So guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up for this video and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. And also make sure you subscribe if you're new in here. Now you guys comment below and I'll check this later too. I don't know what kind of handle this is. This is not a shoulder handle. That is not a shoulder handle. I don't know what that is. Do you just carry it like this? I don't know. But there's not a designer mark in it. But it's a great bag. So no designer mark on that. Look at this. This is Boots and Bags, guys. Boots and Bags. So I love to get the Boots and Bags brand. This is the second one that I found. They are made in Colombia. It's a wrist, okay. They are made in Colombia. So this is all leather. This is wide. It would hold two bottles of wine. I joke about that. It would hold two bottles of wine. Um, but it's not a wine bag, obviously. But look at the interior here, too. So I like that purse, too. So hit that thumbs up, guys. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Fossil. So look at this fossil bag. So I think that's a great fossil bag. Here's another fossil bag that I picked up. This is a crossbody bag. So about the size of my hand. Pebbled leather, black in color. Just needs a little bit of cleaning right there. I do too, Sam. That's the second uh, boots and bags bag I have ever found. Here's another fossil. So there's another fossil. Yep, three stores yesterday. So I did one and I Ubered to the second Goodwill and sure enough, right across, and I'll post those videos each day this next week when I looked across the street, there was a uh, Salvation Army. Attention in the terminal for anyone just arriving and continuing on to Dallas on flight 3461. Look at this fossil here, guys. I could not find this. I Google lensed it but I cannot find it. It's like a beach fossil. It's a small shoulder bag. Look at the detail. It's 
It's a great detail of the beach, marked fossil on the inside. Never seen anything like this. Google lensed it, can't find it, so I don't know. No idea what I've got there. And here's another fossil, because you guys love it. You know, I love these fossils. So it's patchwork, leather, fossil. This is a crossbody also. And there's the back with the signature. Now I have one more purse to show you and then I'm gonna get off here because I bored shortly. And I need to go get me a Diet Dr. Pepper. So look at this Patricia Nash, guys. And make sure you guys, when you're watching this video later, hit that thumbs up for the video. Comment below which is your favorite bag and which you'd like to see on a soon, soon show, you know, or sale. Let's look at this Patricia Nash. And this is like new inside, guys. Like new on the outside also. So these run retail $229. So obviously this is thrifted, but retail, they are still out there and being sold new for $229. So you have the exterior snap. It's a crossbody. I love Patricia Nash. It's a crossbody, but also, and you won't see this in the video because I, cl I cleared the video out. And when I got up to the counter, sure enough, behind the counter was more purses. And I found a couple of the fossils in this one. So go figure. It's where I always, and there's the signature um, tooled mark, leather tooled mark. I'll show you the inside. Yeah, these retail for $229. Obviously, I'm not going to sell it for $229. Try to give it to you guys first on a YouTube sale, but I need to put it on eBay also. But the interior is like new. I mean, there's no staining whatsoever on this. A lot of room in this bag. You have two slip pockets right there. Three right here, or two more right there. Then you have another main compartment, another zipper pocket, and then I'll show you the Patricia Nash label, which you guys are all familiar with that. So there's the Patricia Nash label. So that's all of the purses I have that I found at Thrift in Missouri. So that was from three thrift stores. So then I bought this extra bag from DSW Shoes. I didn't buy it from DSW. I bought it from the thrift store in order to load all this stuff on the plane. So we have one, two, three, Four. Let's see, five. We have a lot. Six, seven, eight, nine purses and lots of jewelry. So guys, that's it. Just wanted to give you a quick preview of what I did find in Missouri. So hit that thumbs up for this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. If you have, thank you so much. I appreciate it. We're rocking and rolling on up to 8,000 subscribers. We're past 7,500. So thank each and every one of you for getting me there. And hopefully we'll keep trucking forward and moving along. And I'll try to have another sale, but I will leave for Texas on Monday. And I'll try to take you thrifting in some other states, maybe North Florida and some other states. And that'll be a pre-recorded video unless I can take you live. And if I can, I sure will. It just depends on the windows in the building. So on that note, I'm going to get off here so that I can get ready to board the plane. And I will see you guys. I will see you guys very soon, I'm sure, in another video that we'll post tomorrow. Or in a live buy it now, which will probably be when I get to Texas. So thank y'all so much, and I appreciate you. And thanks for catapulting me up in the 7,000 subscriber range when I had one person. I was super shocked when I had 10. I was even more shocked. And I still stay shocked with the people that are backing my channel and supporting it. So thank you so much. And I will see y'all later. Bye, everybody. And hello, everybody. In case I did not individually call you out, I will see y'all later. Bye.